Hunter, how hard is it going to be to bounce back from, from a game like last night where I mean, you were in it, but things just kind of got out of control at the end? I mean, I don't think it'll be hard to bounce back. I think this team, we've done it this year. Um, we've had a couple, we had a rough weekend against Georgia, and we came back next weekend and swept Tennessee. So I don't think it's going to be hard. I mean, we all have a short term memory. So I think that uh, we'll forget about it and go to Kentucky this weekend and see what we can do. Riley, what were the first couple weekends of the year like for you, kind of waiting to get your shot, and <clears throat> how the past couple games been, and how do you feel like you've played? Um, we got a lot of good players over here, so it's uh, it was tough sitting out, but I'm glad I'm getting my chance to play now. <clears throat> and I think I, I've been hitting the ball well, but it just hasn't been falling. Hopefully it will this weekend. Hunter, going off what John was saying, um, Coach talked about how after the Georgia series, you guys reset yourself and uh, got some momentum going back. How do you go about that, and how is that going to work now? Yeah, I think the first thing, like I said, is just having a short-term memory. Um, you got to forget about it, no matter what. Um, and after that, we're going to have a good practice today, look over some stuff, go over Kentucky, everything like that. And then tomorrow, we'll go there, have a good practice, and just get back to doing what we do. So, tough loss, but got to forget about it. Hunter, how do you like the earpieces and the communication from the dugout? Do you feel like that's helped you guys this year? Yeah, um, I, I think it's with everything that they want to do to speed up the game, I think that is a big step in the right direction to do that. So, it just makes it a lot quicker to get. I don't have to look over every time. It's, it tells me I can look down. So. I mean, not really, because we still have to change stuff up whenever there's a guy at second base or something like that. It's, I'm not just putting down one sign, so we still have to change it up. So I wouldn't say done up with that, but it just makes it quicker. For either one of you guys, did you see uh, Coach Kingston get hit with the ball uh, during his interview uh, during the game? And um, did y'all see it after the game? What was y'all's reaction? I didn't see it during the game. I saw it after, and uh, he wore it like a champ. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that says a lot about him right there. Yeah, yeah. He, he took it like a champ. <laughs> Any other questions? John? Riley, how how difficult is it to to go on the road for so such a long stretch? I mean, y'all've got I guess it's eight straight games that are away from home. Uh, is is anything any part about that intimidating? Do you enjoy being on the road, or, or what kind of goes through your thoughts knowing or goes through your head knowing that y'all've got this coming up? <clears throat> Uh, it's, it's a different environment, but it's a fun place to play, and it, you know you got to keep a good heads, a good mind, so that you can mentally be ready for each game because it's not home. So, yeah, it's tough, but I think we'll be able to do it.